What's up guys and welcome back to another video right onto my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna basically tell you how to uh, fix this issue if you have crashing or freezing problems in Dad by Daylight. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix these issues. So before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that I would really, really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right onto my YouTube channel. It will really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am, especially subscribing would be a big support for me. I mean, you're gonna, it's free for you and gonna support my work here on YouTube a lot if you're just subscribing. I'm gonna thank you for that right now and I would just say let's get started. So the first step we recommend doing for everybody is opening up your task manager by using the shortcut or navigating down to your taskbar, right clicking it and opening up your task manager. Once you're here, I want you to stick to processes and now guys, I mean, it's gonna sound a little bit weird, but trust me guys, for me it helped me and many others also. So uh, I want you to end every single task. Um, I know it's gonna sound weird, but let me explain. So there are two types of problems. So first of all, uh, if you're having a low end PC or a bad PC, running too many programs and processes at the same time will cause freezing, will cause fresh, uh, crashing. Uh, you, your PC can't handle that. And the other reason, uh, this was it for me last time. There are several programs which are third parting your game, causing it to crash or to freeze. And in this case, you need to close every single program in order to figure out which one it is. So uh, trust me guys, do that. Once you're finished here, you can also close this one down. Next step is gonna be to search an empty spot right onto your monitor or desktop and right click it, go to your display settings, stick right to display and the next step is going to be to identify which your main monitor is so obviously this just applies if you have more than one so once you identified it i want you to go down and uh, stick right to scale and layout go to change the size of text text apps and other items and uh, put it in 100 percent as recommended go down to your display resolution and put it right there where your in-game resolution is so if you have per, for example in-game 70 20 by 10 70 i want you to put it right onto that um yeah um, and uh, next step is going to be to go to the bottom left corner of your screen, opening up your uh, settings and, uh, excuse me guys, again to your settings and uh, go right to update in security, stick to Windows update. Yeah guys, I know it's going to sound a little bit basic, but um, trust me, it will help you a lot with that. Uh, I want you to basically update your windows because you're providing in this uh, um, case, you're providing the best possible performance for your PC in order to uh, get rid of crashes, freezing or other problems. Just trust me, do that guys. It helped me and many others. Once you finish here, you're going to close this one down and do the same thing for your graphics card. So uh, if you have AMD or Nvidia, it doesn't really matter. Go to the application or go to the browser and download the latest version of that. and. Uh, yeah, guys, that's it for the video. If I could help you with that, I would really be thankful if you could leave a subscription. Um, yeah, guys, I if it couldn't help you, I'm really sorry, but I'm just trying to do my best in order to help you. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.